Fun fact of the day, my shirt says I'm not short, I'm fun sized. And that is because I am very short. <laughs> Hello beautiful, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be checking out my palette collection. So today I was going to do a makeup tutorial for you guys and I was like, you know, I wonder what they want to see. And, and one of my beauty sisters down in a comment, hey Sylvia, uh, she mentioned that I should do a palette or a makeup collection video and my makeup collection is a little uh, unorganized right now. So we are going to be checking out my palettes today. And, you know, if you like one of these, uh, if you're interested in one, you want to see a review, a tutorial, girl, just let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know which one you want to see, and I will do a video on that. So, I don't even know where to start. So, we're just going to start with one of my all-time favorites, BH Cosmetics. Now, BH Cosmetics is like one of my favorite online uh, makeup companies just because they offer, you know, they offer so many products. And, oh my god. And my first palette from them was actually the Brazil palette. This is really pretty. Um, I mean, look at all those colors. And girl, I don't know if I told you this. I mean, I've been toning it down lately, but... I love me some rainbow eyes. I mean, I really do. I love bright colors. And these are all really pretty. There's some shimmers down here. There's your basic black and white to kind of tone her down a bit if you want. But, you know, my only complaint with these are the yellows, especially, like, especially the lighter ones and, like, maybe this neon green. With my Too Faced shadow primer and what have you, those colors just didn't show up. But otherwise, I can't complain. I mean, these colors come out bright. What you see, what you see in here is what you get, except with those greens and the yellows. So now that I've gotten this one out of the way, just set her down here. I'm going to go on to my baked eyeshadow collection because I have lots of them. I think we should start with the little pellets. So I've got the... I'll just call it like the the wild line because that's what this is. It's um, wild at heart. We've got wild child and we've got wild and free. And are like so freaking adorable. I mean, it's such you know. Oh. oh yeah. So here I am talking to BH Cosmetics and my eyeshadow fell out. And literally, I don't know if you can see, um, but the pan is still in there. This thing came out intact, so I'm just going to thank my lucky stars and I'm going to slide her back in. I'm definitely going to put that in the video, though. Oh my god, it's not sliding back in. Come on, BH. Come on. All right, but anyways, that's the Wild and Free palette. I'm going to have to fix that with some uh, rubbing alcohol later. And I would love to show you guys some, like, makeup and beauty hacks, including fixing, you know, your broken powder products. So let me know if you want to see that, too. Next, the Wild at Heart. Really pretty. All sorts of pinks and purples. And just, like, super bright. Um... You know, my only complaint really with these baked eyeshadows is that, like, the lighter of the whites and silvers don't really show up. Um, this one goes on a little patchy, but, like, all of these other colors, they're just, they're beautiful. And this is the Wild Child palette. I, I just, I love leopard print. Oh, my gosh. Next, I think this kind of goes with the Wild line. It's the Wild and Alluring palette. I really like this one because I'll just I'll just let it speak for itself. So look at that. I mean, all these like little swirly colors, and they come out so pretty. Like this comes out to be like such a lime, shiny lime green. And um, like this, this comes out as like a beautiful brown. This is like a nice burgundy. And then you've got your hot or your excuse me, you've got your bronzer here, and a nice blush, 
And they, they come out really pigmented, so be gentle when you go in with that. But they're really pretty. And I've got the Baked and Beautiful palette. And it really is. It's Baked and Beautiful. Woo! Look at that. That is like a neutral lover's dream when it comes to baked eyeshadows. I really like that they kind of cut these in half and added some extra colors to it. I mean, it's kind of hard to get to the one color unless you're going in with a smaller brush, but, you know, that I just thought that was really cool. Next up, and these two are my favorite by far in the Baked Eyeshadow line by BH Cosmetics, and the first one is the Galaxy Chic Palette. And, oh my god, are you ready for this? Are you ready? <gasps> oh! Woo! Come through, BH! Look at that! I mean, oh my gosh, they are just so pretty. And these colors down here, I know they look kind of grayish, but they come out as like a nice gray-purple, and it's just, it's so beautiful. This, uh, this red and the orange up here bright girl it is bright I mean just ooh, just beautiful and last of my BH cosmetics baked palette line I've got the supernova palette and these are more like I don't call I wouldn't say they're not neutrals but they are a little bit more toned down from the galaxy chic so if you want to throw on some beautiful baked color and you don't want all the bright oranges and stuff from the Galaxy Chic palette, this this is this is your girl right here because, I mean, this green, oh my god, that green is to die for! Uh, moving on, one last thing from BH Cosmetics. It's the Carly Bybel uh, palette, the original one. I do have the deluxe one coming. You know I do. Girl, this, this lady, if you haven't seen her on YouTube or Instagram, please check her, uh, check her out. Uh, she is just, she is just a lovely, lovely lady. I mean, she does, she does so much good and just, ah, oh, I love you, Carly. So this is her adorable little palette. And as you can see, I haven't played with it too terribly much, but the colors are so creamy and pretty. And these, uh, yeah, these top two here, they're really nice, uh, like plummy, mauvey mattes, and I love them. Now the highlighters, I wasn't really feeling all of them. This one right here is by far my favorite. It comes out as a nice, like, shiny peach. This one comes out as... It's flat out like, it's like an eyeshadow, girl. It's like, it's just, it's gold. But, you know, I love me some golds. Now, this one, it's, it's supposed to be a highlighter and eyeshadow palette, but this is obviously like a bronzy highlighter. And maybe if you have really dark skin, that would work, but don't, don't you, girl, if you got lighter skin, don't you dare be trying to put that up on your cheekbone. Mm-mm. But I was looking to, and I'm not going to get into it too much today and swatch and everything. I'll, sh I'll go over this palette like more in depth uh, another time. But this and this color, they're basically the same. So that is it for my BH Cosmetics palettes. And let's see what's next. All right, we are going to move on with some old favorites. Now, raise your hand if you remember this. It's the Everything Nice, uh, like, collection, basically. And I like that. That's what pretty girls are made of. That's so cute, Too Faced. And as for this palette, though, I mean, look how cute this is. Don't, don't mind my little mess in there. It comes with the little cards, like most... Too Faced, probably all Too Faced palettes come with those to kind of give you an idea of what what kind of a look you want to do. Came with these little brushes. We've got a highlighter, a bronzer, and two blushes. This this peachy color is really beautiful. And then you've got all of these on top. I mean, you've got some nice bright colors down there. You've got like some metallic shimmery colors and then you've got, you know, all your basic mattes that you really want to have. 
like I just I love it so much so I'm really gentle with this one and I don't use it very much but for you guys any damn thing let me know if you want to see something on that palette I'm gonna crack this open make sure it's not looking too oh no we're good so the mirror is broken all right but this is the return of sexy palette by Too Faced and oh look how shiny obviously the purple is like my favorite out of here um though the only thing with this palette is that there's no mattes and yes, this was my first palette from Too Faced and again gifted to me um, but I love it and I don't use it very often anymore but uh, you know I keep it more like a trophy like it's my baby it brings back memories you know you know you I bet you guys got some makeup out there like that all right next we are going to move on to some of my youtuber favorites and I've already done kind of some reviews or tutorials on these so we'll just take a look really quick. This is my Beauty Killer Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And as you already know, I love it to death. It's got so many beautiful colors in it. I really feel like this is a good one to learn with if you are looking to get a little bit more bold with your makeup looks. Highly recommended. Great formula. We're going to look at my Laura Lee Palette. This is by Violet Voss. It's a Laura Lee and Violet Voss collab. And you guys all know I love Laura Lee. She is such a dear. They're really pretty. I mean, it's I, I it's one of my favorite go-to palettes right now just because it's got the mattes, it's got the shimmers, it's got the glitter, I mean, and it's got all the colors that I really love to use. Um, these are no longer available, unfortunately, but I'm still I'm still gonna mention it because I love it. Next, we have my Tardis Pro. You want to talk about some no-nonsense. Ooh, I'm going to take a look at my kitchen. You want to talk about... Ugh. But you want to talk about a no-nonsense palette. You want to just throw your makeup on and go. You want it to make sense. This is your girl right here. It's got mattes, it's got shimmers, I mean it is a complete palette in my book. The last little bit of my palette collection is going to be my Morphe palettes. You know I've got a couple more on the way, I've got the gold and the plum palette coming, so I will be checking those out when they arrive. But for now we are going to check out the ones that I do have, if they will ever open. So this is the 35F and it is just darling. I mean, it's got that bright, ridiculous yellow gold that I love so much. It's got like the cranberry and mauve colors. I mean, so many shimmers. And then it's got, you know, mattes that you can use. I mean, these go well on everybody. I wish there was a little bit more of a difference in the shades. I mean, because if you look, you look on the camera and they look like so different, but in real life, they are kind of, they're a whole lot more similar than they appear on the camera. Um, I love Morphe. It's a great brand, um, especially if you're learning to practice, you're trying to learn makeup. Morphe is the way to go. Their palettes are like 23 bucks or under, and you get a lot of beautiful colors. Now this one is the three, this one is the 350S, so this one's the, this one's the shimmer, and it's all shimmers. Um, so they have the 350, which is the original one that like everybody loves, and it's, it's another all-in-one palette. I decided to go with the 350M and 350S set. And you can get them together. It's like a couple bucks off if you buy them together. If not, you know, whatever. Um, but it's got all your warm tones, your browns. You've got some beautiful golds up top and your oranges. And what I think is really cool is that it kind of, it kind of mimics all the colors that are in this one. This is the 350M. It's all mattes. And if you go on their website, you will notice that actually these colors are laid out really similar to the uh, the original 35O. 
I love warm colors. I think they look good on just about everybody. And you can create just a million different looks with these. So if you are looking for a couple of nice, uh, affordable cosmetics companies, Morphe and BH Cosmetics, they're the way to go. So that is it for today. Um, of course, let me know which ones you like the most. If you were interested in one, if you wanted, if you were on the fence about buying one, let me know so I can do a review or a tutorial for you. I mean, let's let's be real. I make these videos for me. All right, I do it to blow off steam. It's just a hobby of mine. You know, it's just it's something that I enjoy doing. I love beauty. I want to share it with you guys. You know what I mean? Sharon's Karen. Don't be keeping your beauty secrets to yourself, ladies. You know who you are. You know who you are. I see you out there. But, you know, I like to share with people. I love making these videos. But I also, I also want you guys to enjoy it. And I want to put content on here that you want to see. You know, I, I just want you to have a good time. So, let me know. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like these. And you know I love ya. Mwah! Bye, everyone. I wonder what people are going to think of the naked lady on my sweatshirt. You know, let's find out. If you're watching this right now, there's a good chance that this is what I'm doing and this is what I'm wearing. Just wanted to give y'all a sneak peek into what I'm doing today every day like every day this is me me and my hoodie i love this thing ah, love it